Okay, okay, let's see. Carlos Miguel, good evening. Hello. Well, let's see, Marjorie. Good evening. How are good you? Good evening, teacher. Good oh, evening. there's Carlos. Hello. How are you, mister? Carlos, I lost you. I I am in vacation. Oh, that's cool. Yes, all the week. Man. Okay, okay. Let me help you with here. Let me ayudarle acá. There's a little something here. Instead of saying all the week, we say it like this. Look, we say the whole, the whole week. Oh, okay. The whole week. Yes. It's equivalent at the, the La semana all, completa. All the week. Ah, okay. Yes. The problem is that when you use all the week, uh, it's it's not correct. You could say all the weeks, todas, because all is todas, todos. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case is the whole week, la semana completa. Oh, really? That's cool. That's yes, cool. Yes, it's uh, this day uh, I resolve the problems at home. Oh, yes. nice. Yes. Um, um, mandados, ¿cómo se dice? Errands. De Errands. And delivery. No, no, no. You say it like this. Look, I, because it's in past, we say I ran. Because we are talking about the past, right? Está hablando del pasado. I ran some oh. errands like this. I ran errands. And yeah, yeah, I was running some errands today too. Yes. Es lo que se hace el primer día de vacaciones: resolver todos los problemas y luego. Y luego descansar. Ok, ok, well. That's, well, nah, I have a lot of things to do, but today I slept late. Hoy dormí hasta tarde. So what about you? Did you sleep late today? No, I I driving all day. Oh really? I was driving. Yes. Man, yeah, me too. Me too. I was driving downtown San Salvador, had a little problem with my car, had to call the mechanic. Man, it was crazy. But we are here. We're home. We're ready for the class. That's great. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Claudia Pineda, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I am fine, thanks. How was your day? Oh, my my day was was good. <laughs> I I have de trabajo, ¿cómo se dice? A lot of work. A lot of work. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, because just this day. Uh, two people work 
I'm sorry. Because this day just two people work. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Yes. So you had extra work. Uh, yes. Yes. Mm, was. It is, was. Como dice pesado. Heavy. Heavy. It was heavy. Sí, it was heavy. But mm, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. What? Será el will último be. día de trabajo. Will, will be. 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 Será el último día de trabajo. Will, will be. be the last day. The last day. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So you will rest. Así que va a descansar. Sí. That's cool. I, I will work uh, Monday. Until Monday. Until Monday. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's great. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And welcome. Thank you. Hey, lady, how are you? Hi, teacher. And relax. Relax? Cool. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. How was your day? Tell me. Um, I asleep um, as a... Uh, Night, am. Oh, me too. <laughs> um, orden de la casa, como por decir. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I tidy up. I tidy up. My mom left. Me dejó. Oh, really? And, left uh, me. Left me. Left me. My mom left me. Um, dice que tal vez nos vemos el sábado. Así oh, que... really? Perhaps. My gosh. <laughs> mm. That's cool. So now you're in charge of the house. Usted está a cargo. Mm. Wow. That's cool. um, toda la tarde tampoco estuve, así que fui al mecánico, de ahí al gimnasio, oh. de ahí a comprar para la semana. Don't talk to me about the mechanic. Uh, my car broke down today. <laughs> and I... And yeah. I and I was planning to take the other car for maintenance. Y mañana me tocaba meter el otro a mantenimiento. Oh. It's, oh. It's gonna hurt. Va a doler. Sí. Yeah. Y eh, vi un carro que me he estado buscando uno. De hecho, he ido hace como dos fines a probar hasta la unión. Porque quiero cambiarlo, entonces, y ella, yeah, quiero que me vendan este porque está súper bonito, pero ya revisándolo, no. Oh, really? What model is it? ¿Qué modelo? Um, Hyundai Elantra. I'm sorry? Hyundai Elantra. Oh, mm -hmm. it's okay, it's a good car. Es como de lo que tengo, solo que quiero uno más reciente. Mm, what, what year? Uh, el que tengo ahorita. Bien. Yeah. O el que quiero. Buff. Uh, 20 night. Um, 20 17. Ok. Mm -hmm. That's nice from the 29, 2017. Ah, yeah, it's a good car. Que si saben de alguno me avisan. 
Okay, well, the problem is that you live a little bit far. Usted vive un poquito lejos. Tengo un tío en El Salvador que es mecánico. Entonces, él también me está ayudando a buscar allá. Oh, De hecho, ha revisado dos. Uh -huh. Actually, he has checked two. Actually, he has checked two, two cars. Oh, well, let's hope you can find it. Esperemos que lo encuentre. Thank you, thank you. Okay, did you go to the gym? I hope you can. Yeah. How was the gym? ¿Cómo estuvo? Mm, hard, hard. Very hard. Oh, really? Yeah, the coach is um, exigent. Okay, demanding. The coach is, de is demanding. Um, es que aquí sí hay instructores y allá no. Yeah, qué bueno hay. Mm. Yeah, today I had to do legs. Today was legs days. Oh, heavy. Sí. Oh, you too? Me too. Yeah, man. I was doing a squats, um, but today was the day that we had to up the, the, the weight. Ahora nos tocaba subir peso. So, uh, Me too. In hip thrust, 20, 20, uh, 20, um, 20, 20, ¿cómo se llama? 20 libras. I'm sorry. En hip thrust, um, 220 libras. Yo monté 10 y 10. Oh, no. I was doing with the squats. I was doing a squats with, uh, let's see, 90, 115. 230, 260. Estaba haciendo sentadillas con 260. Man, hurts. Hurts a little bit. Really? Yeah, 245 and 125, 245 y otro más. Buena. Yeah, it's a little bit of weight. Es un poquito. But it's cool. Pasado pasa mañana, porque no es el dolor mañana, sino pasado oh, no. mañana. But usually I do it with 245s. Normalmente lo estaba haciendo con dos de 45 por lado. So, it's just a little bit more. Solo es un poquito más. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's I got like... it. Yeah, but uh, right now where it hurts is my neck. <laughs> bueno, que está sosteniendo así. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's free. Porque es libre. Mm-hmm. Pero... Yeah, but it's, it was cool. The only problem with... I'm sorry? The routine, the routine is, um, ¿Usted mismo la hace o se la dan? Um, no, actually, there's two of us. Hacemos en pareja, and the, 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 the teacher is always... There's a trainer. He he gives us the routines. Él nos da la rutina, but today is the easy. La de este día es la fácil. Friday I do, but it's legs again, but it's different. It's less weight, but many repetitions. El viernes es mm. menos peso, pero muchas repeticiones. Also legs. It's like squats. We do squats with 45 and 25, just that. Hacemos a squat con... 70 por lado, but 20 or 30 per uh -huh. o sea, son 30 por, por serie man, that hurts ¿cuántos años lleva entrenando? me yeah la let's see September, October, November December, January, February, March like 8 months ah Yeah, like eight months. O sea que está empezando. Y todo yeah. ese peso ya. Yeah. Wow. No, but it's not too much. I mean, I, I got friends who weigh, who lift more. Tengo unos amigos que levantan más. So it's not that much. 
And the funny thing is this, my legs are still like this. Y lo chistoso es que las piernas siguen así. Uh, proteína, tiene una proteína o también incluir en la alimentación no, o tomar creatina. Yeah, I know. I, I have I have increased the, the food, but mm -mm, it's my metabolism. Ah. Yeah, it's the metabolism. Actually, for me, it's easy to lose weight. Para mí es fácil perder. Not y suplemento aprobado. Yeah, but as I tell you, my problem is that for me, it's hard to gain on weight. A mí me cuesta muchísimo aumentar peso. Oh. I, I can lose like, what, five, ten pounds? I can lose them in one week. Yo le pierdo 10 libras en una semana. Easy. Wow. That's not a problem for me. For me, the problem is the opposite. To gain on weight. Ah, oh, that's terrible. It has taken me like almost one year to, to get like 25 more pounds. So, but it's fun it's going okay. to the gym. Yeah, going to the gym is fun. Well, thank you, lady. Nice talking to you, as usual. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Julio is another fan of the gym. Hello, Julio. How are you? Hello. How Hi. was the How was the gym for you today? Legs two. What did you work today? Legs two. Legs two. Legs and uh, shoulder. Yeah. Legs and shoulder. Oh, nice. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. So, how was your routine? Heavy? Yes, it's Monday. It was heavy. But I uh, levanto. I hail. Uh, I lift. I lift. Only 45 and Two, two, two disco. Two per side or one two and one? Side. No. Two, two per, per side. side. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was with that. Yo estaba con eso. But now, today, we had to increase, pero ahora tocaba aumentarle. So, it's fun. Man, but it hurts. Duele. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun. So what's to what's for tomorrow? What you gonna work with tomorrow? Chess. Chess. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, me too. Okay. What about in chest? In bench? How much are you lifting? Sixty. I'm sorry. Fifty pound. Fifty per side. Yes, per side. That's cool. That's great. Yeah, it's it's heavy. It's a little bit heavy. Ya peso un poquito. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I mean. Alone, that's what I do. Trabajando solo, that's what I do. When I have a partner, I try sometimes, try to lift a little bit more, but it's hard. It hurts. That yeah. really hurts. The The most I have lift on chest is just, uh, let's see, 245 and 5 per side. Per side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just, just 5. Man, that thing hurts. It's pretty heavy. And with help. I mean, with somebody to spot me. With somebody to spot no. me. Con alguien que me ayude. Mm. With a partner. I usually do alone. Because I like to do alone for maintain the the wave mm -hmm. and I'm going to increase around uh, seven pounds 
for 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 week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I understand you. Okay, well, Julio, nice talking to you and welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. I need to take the attendance. Let me get the attendance, please. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Mm. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Cárez Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Present. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. And Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Okay, guys. Let's see. Hey, Ruth. Good evening. How are you? Hola, teacher. Me escucha. Yes, I do. Es que tengo problemas <laughs> con oh, el internet o no sé con qué. <laughs> no, but I can hear you perfectly. Ah, ok. Es que cuando le di encender al micrófono, no me entendía. <laughs> mm, that's weird. Pero creo que ahorita sí. ¿Qué tal, Pichu? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? Fine. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Yes. How's how was your day? You're on vacation, right? No. No yet. Uh... No. Pero casi como que estudié. <laughs> Almost. 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 Almost es casi, ¿sí? Yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Why do you say almost? Uh, because um, in the house, uh, ¿cómo dice menos personas? Somos menos personas. Oh, there's less people. There's less people, sí. There's less people. There are less people. Mm -hmm. Entonces, el trabajo también es menos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, at least, algo es algo. Sí. <laughs> Se siente la diferencia. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I mean, uh, uh, how many, how many less, less people? O sea, ¿cuántos menos? Mm, casi todos. <laughs> how many do you have now? Uh, two. Two? And usually two. you have? Eight. Uh, no, no, no. And... Con es with, with here, mm, more staff. Uh -huh. uh, somos, creo, 11, 11. 
people. Okay. Oh, yeah. And just two. That's cool. Yes. And now two people. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Okay, well, Ruth, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, les comento, la encuesta la tendremos a las 8.45. Give me just one second. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Oh, there's Walter. Hello, Walter. Welcome. Sorry, Walter. Walter Ernesto Perez Galvez, say present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you, mister. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. Veronica, welcome. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, thank you. So, how was the day, Veronica? What did you do today? It was really very hard. Uh, oh, really? A hard day? It's a hard day because I I, I was hard working very hard. Oh. What? But, but well, in, in your case, <laughs> that means more money. So <laughs> it was a good day for business. I'm running, running for business. In take up, take up more money <laughs> for my oh. vacation. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's cool. In your case, that's more money. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Today I have to attend the clients. Uh, uh, then I went to a uh, police station uh -huh. in Conchalillo. Oh my gosh. Then I have to come in San Salvador and I have to buy uh the sorry uh sorry, um, uh food dog or dog food. Oh food. dog food. Dog food, yes. In the the center. Downtown. Then in, uh, downtown. Then I went to my my yeah, uh, dance class. Oh, really? Yeah. Then I, I'm here. Okay, well, you were quite busy. Yeah. Yeah, but as I, I was, was telling you, in your case, that's more money for the business. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I like <laughs> Yeah, I like work. No, of course it's good when I mean you make a big effort, but you you receive back. So, I mean it's it's cool. It's worth yeah. it. It's worth it. It's uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Satisfaction. Satisfactory. Yeah. Satis yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Yes. Man. My company will be go to the beach on Wednesdays. Mm. I'm sorry. It's worth it. Uh, vale la pena. My company. It's worth it. Vale la pena. Okay. Okay. So your company. Oh, you are going to the beach. That's cool. Yeah. I will take a vacation on Wednesday. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Well, nice to hear it, Veronica, and nice to have you here. Welcome. 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Who else is here? Who else is here? Uh, uh, Eric, hello, good evening, Eric. How are you? Well, let's see, I think, I guess Eric is busy. Okay, let's see who else is here. Uh, 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 Clelia, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? Uh, just fine, just fine, you know. Bueno. How was your day? Oh, you are not on vacation, right? No. Uh, my day is started. Oh, really? Yes. Estoy esperando las vacaciones. When are when do they start? Uh, on the cell. Yeah. Ah, uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay. Yes. That's nice. I, I want to sleep all day. Oh yeah, I know. I know the feeling. Sí, conozco el sentimiento. Believe me, I know it. Sí. But, I mean, the good thing is that it's close, it's close, está cerca. Sí, primero Dios. You gotta be patient, you gotta be patient. Hay que ser pacientes. Okay, welcome to the class, Clelia. Nice having you here. Thank you. Ana Veronica, hello, how are you? Perhaps she's busy. Let's see. Nilton, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? Today I am fine. Free from the university, right? Yeah. Uh, this with no university, no have the university. That's cool. Yeah. Así que ah, descansar un poco. Really? Yeah. That's Así. nice. That's nice. Yeah, you can relax a little bit. At least for a couple of days, al menos por unos cuantos días. Yeah, yeah. Eh... Uh, Escuché al inicio de la clase que estaban hablando de ir al gym. Pues yo estoy pensando en hacer eso. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. It's no. good. It helps. Look, uh, I recommend it. Like, uh, I, imagine... I, I, I yeah. never go gym. Never, I... never. Okay, 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 okay. We got to say it like this. Look. Uh... I have never gone. 
Ah, ok. Never gone. Se utiliza, es el pasado de go, ¿verdad? No, it's the past participle. You are using here the present perfect. Está utilizando el presente perfecto. I have okay. never gone. Yo nunca he ido. Ok. The verb have, in this case, it's understood as haber. El verbo have se entiende como haber. So, in this situation, the sentence says, yo nunca he ido. I have never gone. Okay. Usually, yeah, sí, sí. usually the sentence goes like I have gone. Normalmente la oración va como I have gone, subject, auxiliary, have, then the main verb in past participle, luego el verbo principal en pasado participio, but it can be separated and insert the word never. En el caso de la palabra never, puede insertarse entre el auxiliar y el verbo principal. Ah, ok. Yeah. So, no, it's good, it's good. I mean, you can ask you can ask your classmates here. It's a good habit. I mean, to be honest, I regret not having taken it before. Para ser honesto, lamento no haber comenzado antes. It's fun. Yeah, yo por eso hace poco me está, estaba pensando de que o sea, todavía tengo corta edad y decir cuando llega a los 30 años cómo voy a estar. Porque antes era antes era bien delgado yo. Man, you just made me feel so old. Me acaba de hacer sentir tan viejo. Gosh. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> you're, you're talking about, I mean, you see the terrace Por far dos, away. Teacher, me sentí ofendida <laughs> también. Sí, no, no, no. Por tres, sorry. Por tres. Que <laughs> sigan la cuenta. Que <laughs> sigan la cuenta. Gosh. Por cuatro, por cuatro, por cuatro. Por cuatro, por cuatro. 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 I mean, just imagine. <laughs> yeah, just imagine. You see the Teddy's far away. Usted mira los 30 lejos y dice estaré viejo. I'm 43. <laughs> nah, but it's cool. It's Thank cool. Thank you, Nilton. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How, how old are you, Nilton? Nilton, ¿cómo es eso? <laughs> ¿Cuántos uh, años tiene usted? 21 years old. Oh my gosh, you are a little boy, oh yet. It's no, si sí está chiquito. <laughs> Mejor contémosle, contémosle, contémosle cuentos de barro a Nilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nilton is, you are a little baby yet, man. 21, <laughs> that's cool. I mean, I barely remember the 21s. Yo me acuerdo ya lo lejos de eso. Yeah, yeah, Nilton, man. No, but it was cool, you know. I mean, for all, for us, all people, it's nice to laugh once in a while. Para nosotros los viejos es bueno que nos riamos, Milton. <laughs> Estimula los músculos de la cara. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Ruguita. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good exercise. No, it's good. It's a good habit. It's a very good habit. You should take it. And I mean, and it helps. Because, I mean, I recommend it. In my case, I live all the time working and doing stuff all the time busy. And that little time I go spend there helps me a lot. A mí me ayuda el, el ir un rato. I mean, to get rid of stress, liberar un poco de stress. Yo pensaba como es complicado de golpe. Pensaba por lo menos comenzar a tratar de caminar un tiempo y ya luego comenzar a porque la verdad yo no hago nada. Paso sentado todo el día. Y... Antes sí, me acuerdo de que sí. Yo estuve en la banda. Entonces, cuando estaba en la banda, recuerdo de que el ejercicio era bastante pesado. Esa, a veces hacíamos eso que le dicen chicharrón. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, antes sí, pero eso fue hace tres años, cuatro años. Cuando estaba en bachillerato. Ya hace bastante tiempo. Well, man, don't don't talk like that, please, please, don't talk like that. No hable así. I mean, you say hace Wilson, bastante ya tiempo. Yeah, por three favor, years ago. Por favor. Man. Me recordó cuando yo era cachuporrista. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but but he says, oh, three years ago, a long while ago, hace tanto tiempo, hace tres años, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no, no. Today is not our day. Hoy no es nuestro día, chicos. I mean. <laughs> Bueno, por lo, menos, por, lo menos, por lo menos usted nos dice chicos, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to be honest, Jose, the thing is this, that the word guys, ah, la palabra guys, I don't know how to say it. I don't know another way to say it in, in Spanish will be like chicos, yeah. Yeah, but no, no por eso. It was me hace un cool. levante, me hace un levante. No, chico. no, no, no. I include myself, I include myself. Yo trato de incluirme. Ah, ok. Yeah, no llegamos yeah. al nivel de Nilton, lastimosamente. Yeah, no. You know, I was thinking, uh, well, they wanted it here for me to dye back again my hair. But I won't even do that. En lugar de, de hacerles caso acá en casa y pintarme el cabello, I will get a, a, a cane. Mejor me voy a buscar un cane. <laughs> no, the problem is this. I got I got white hair since I was 16. Yo tengo cana desde los 16. So my hair oh. is quite white. I mean, on my sides, man, it's white. And imagine if Nilto sees me. Imagínese si me encuentra por ahí, me va a decir, man, you are old. No, teacher. No, sorry. <laughs> nah, don't worry. Don't worry. It's just fun. It's just fun. Yeah. Bueno, just, just for fun. Yeah, of course. Of course. It was cool. <laughs> hey, thank you, Nilton. Okay. Nice having you here. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just waiting. Uh, actually, vamos a esperar solo un instante. Because I'm waiting for someone from support. Espero por alguien de soporte that is going to help us. To, well, to be with us uh, during the 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 while we take the uh, 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 sorbi. Mientras tomamos la sorbi, because it's supposed to be in one minute, man. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll try to get you the extra material. I remember I told you the other day that I was going to give you some something extra. Voy a tratar de poner de algo extra in the group during the week so you can practice and keep in touch. If I forget, remind me. Si se me olvida, acuérdenme. Sometimes that happens, you know. A veces se me olvidan las cosas. So remind me, please. Okay, okay. Let's see. I'm waiting for Jason. He's not connected. Let me just check on. Déjame solamente revisar. If I'm not mistaken on the time. Okay, well, it's 8.45, so I'm going to start passing it. Bueno, it's the moment, guys. And let me see. Give me just one second. Perfect. I got it. Well, guys, eh, en este momento se va a dar inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Recordemos que este es el tercer requisito que Insafor establece para definir si cada participante ha aprobado o no el presente módulo. Solicito ante todo su atención y el seguimiento de las indicaciones para que su encuesta se envíe sin errores. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes ya han seguido este proceso, pero... Por favor, vamos paso a paso. Siempre ayuda. Es importante que recordemos que este procedimiento se realizará. Insafor acepta que lo realicemos una tan sola vez. Razón por la cual debemos de ser muy cuidadosos con los campos. ¿Ok? En primer lugar, vamos a ver nosotros un video explicativo para tener una idea general. Los que no lo hemos tomado, los que ya lo tomamos para que recordemos. 
de dónde vamos a obtener la información y la forma correcta en la cual vamos a trasladar dicha información a la encuesta. Así que si ustedes me permiten unos segunditos solamente para prepararles. Ok. El compartirles la pantalla y vamos a ello. Ok, acá estamos. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido 
de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok, bueno, veamos. Eh, todos tenemos el enlace, ¿verdad? Procedemos ahora a abrir el enlace. Y veamos. ¿Todos lo tienen a la mano? Solamente ténganme paciencia un instante más. Que deseo mostrarles cómo desaparecerá. Por cualquier duda, siempre es mejor que lo tengamos todos claro. ¿Ok? El enlace nos va a aparecer de esta manera. ¿Ok? Recordemos el número de la orden de inicio. Todos lo hemos recibido en correo. Eh, ahí nos aparecía. Si tienen alguna duda con la orden de inicio, me avisan. Yo se la puedo pasar también. Nombre completo, tal y cual lo hemos registrado. Recordemos, todo esto de información es como la hemos nosotros registrado y facilitado a Insaform. ¿Sí? Luego, nuestra respuesta en correo electrónico, el correo electrónico que nosotros registramos, es el que tenemos acá en inglés corporativo, el que nos dimos, el que nos dieron a nosotros. Hago esta aclaración, ya que, recordemos, eh, algunos de nosotros tenemos más de un correo, pues, el que estamos usando para inglés corporativo, el que estamos usando para Insafor. Igual el número de celular, sexo, ahí tenemos las opciones, departamento de residencia, es un desplegable, vamos a elegir cuál es el nuestro. El municipio, acá hay que escribirlo, la empresa donde trabajamos. En este caso, recordemos, la empresa, usted va a colocar acá la razón social. Si tenemos duda al respecto, me consultan y con gusto les aviso en privado cada uno cuál es el dato. El nombre del proveedor, recordemos acá, es un desplegable y nosotros venimos a Inglés Corporativo Regal International. El nombre del curso, ya sabemos cuál es, ¿verdad? Lo tenemos también, nos apareció ahí en el correo, pero si no, yo se lo facilito. Luego viene la valoración. Usted va a colocar acá de la manera que considera apropiado, ¿verdad? Eh, fecha de inicio del curso, también la tenemos ahí. Aparece en el correo. La fecha de finalización igual nos aparece. El nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso. Vaya, acá recordemos y en eso vamos a ser específicos les aclaro allá vamos a marcar satisfecho o insatisfecho aclaro que en este punto no se refiere a cómo alguno se siente por haber cumplido no haber cumplido si nos parecieron bien algunas cosas como el manual o el hecho de tener que mantener la cámara encendida o alguna acción de alguno de los compañeros o mucho menos si nos sentimos insatisfechos por el internet contratado, cuestiones por el estilo. En este punto se refiere únicamente, exclusivamente a cómo yo les he impartido la clase pedagógica académicamente y a cómo nuestro equipo administrati administrativo les ha apoyado en cada uno de los procesos. Usted puede seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones. Claro, estamos entendidos nosotros que al seleccionar la opción de insatisfecho, nos vamos a dar por enterados de que no procede la inscripción para el siguiente módulo. Y solamente recordemos que al final eh, tienen que enviar la captura de pantalla de la encuesta. ¿okay? Finalizada como comprobante, esto en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí al grupo lo vamos a enviar la captura de que lo hemos terminado y esa captura tiene que llevar como la leyenda el nombre completo de cada uno de nosotros, por favor. Podemos iniciarlo ahora. 
creo que algunos no tenemos el enlace, me dicen. Ahorita se los comparto para que podamos comenzar. Veamos el enlace, se lo voy a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp para que lo tengamos. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. Este enlace para la evaluación es eh, a mi correo no, no ha llegado. No sé si, si Pero, tengo que... En este momento se lo he compartido. Aquí en, en el, el grupo WhatsApp. De WhatsApp. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Yo voy a abrir el WhatsApp en la compu. Entonces, gracias, teacher. Cómo no. Ya estoy recibiendo algunas respuestas. Perfecto. Tengo acá, a ver, Carlos Miguel Umaña, José Alfredo Hueso, Jocelyn Keren, Ana Verónica Hernández. Por si alguien tiene alguna duda con lo que respecta a la orden de inicio. Lo tenemos acá. Eh, en el grupo he compartido el enlace, en el grupo de WhatsApp he compartido el enlace para poder ingresar a la prueba, Iván, a la encuesta. Recordemos que fecha de inicio fue el 06 del 03, fecha de finalización 03 del 04. Diana tiene acceso al grupo de WhatsApp para que pueda tomar de ahí la, el enlace. Ok, perfecto. El nombre del curso, recordemos nosotros, el nombre del curso tiene que ser inglés principiante, módulo 5, entre comillas, tal y cual estaba allí. También se los comparto acá en el grupo, en Zoom. Faltan algunos cuantos. Vamos a esperar un momentito. Tengamos un poquitito de paciencia, por favor. Y ya continuaremos con la clase regularmente.
Teacher, disculpen, la número uno donde dice número completo de la orden, ¿qué es lo que están pidiendo ahí? Eh, en el chat de Zoom se las acabo, se las puse hace un instante, 29750-0- esa copie okay. la y péguela tal y cual está. Ok, ahorita. La orden, la orden de inicio le pide, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá, orden de inicio. Ok, esa es la orden de inicio. Así tal cual y se las he puesto. Thank you, Walter. Ya solamente por cuatro más espero. Perfect. Thank you, Ivan. Okay, let me check. Creo que solamente dos me quedan pendientes. Oh, thank you, Rafael. Ok, creo que solo uno me queda pendiente. Si hay alguna duda, me escribe, me llama, give me a holler. Ok. And in the meantime, mientras tanto, eh, I need to get the second attendance, guys. Mientras esperamos por tu compañero, eh, I need to get the second attendance. Thank you very much for your help. Gracias de antemano por la ayuda. 
with this another step con este otro paso. Let me get the attendance. Uh, Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Thank you. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Eric. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Present teacher. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Present teacher. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher, present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. <coughs> present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angeli Cardón Granillo. Present. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. And Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you con la fecha. Gracias por compartir la compañera. Ok, yes, fecha de inicio, como le comentaron por ahí, uh, estábamos al mm, el 6 del 03, fecha de finalización 03 del 04. Bueno, continuamos. By the way, guys, as far as I remember, some of you still owe me a little presentation, right? Hasta donde recuerdo, algunos me deben todavía una presentación. Let's see, who was the last one? ¿Quién fue el último? Let me see. Lady haven't. No, lady did, right? Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. Good evening. I know, teacher. Yes, Marjorie. Oh, I just love your voice. Me encanta su voz. Okay, Marjorie, it's your turn. <laughs> no, teacher, please. <laughs> okay. I know. Qué terrible. Oh, take Qué it. Terrible. Look at it like this. Véalo desde este punto de vista. Walter is the last one. He's like anxious. <laughs> You are out of it. Ay, so, no. We are all ears. <laughs> Le escuchamos. Um, the book is Jane Eyre uh, by Charlotte Bronte. Oh. Heavy stuff. Ah, estamos hablando de algo pesadito. Um, uh, only chapter one. <laughs> okay. But don't read it to us. Explain to us. No nos lo lea. Cuéntenoslo. Jane uh, lost uh, the fa your friend. Um, he was when do, when he was ten years old, years old, and has I live with your aunt and uncle with his his with his uh, live uh, with his uh, aunt and uncle, Mister and Miss Brit. Um, oh, <laughs> they um, live. Uh, your house is a colored gate house. 
This house was in Yorkshire, in the north of England. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to try it. No, continue, continue. Uh, you are doing good, you are doing good. Um, her, her uncle died in 1825. And she was very, after that, she was very unhappy. Your aunt, real, uh, her your aunt, aunt, her aunt, her aunt, her aunt, uh, did not like her, and your cousin, unkind to her. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, continue, um, continue. Hey, well, it's okay, it's okay, Marjorie, no problem, no problem. Excellent, well done. Let's see who's next, who's next. Nilton, you ready? Right. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, um today I speak to this place in El Salvador. Uh, uh, I lo voy a decir cinco lugares. I will say five places. I will say five places. Uh, the first is El Boqueron National Park. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Boqueron National Park is a natural borderland at the top of an insane volcan uh, insane volcan volcano. Volcano. Okay. One of El Salvador's most popular hiking destination. Uh, El Boqueron offer incredible view. Uh, incredible. Incredible. Incre incredible. Incredible view over the capital city. Uh, Remember uh, one time visit the Boquero National Park. Uh, in my opinion, it is a beautiful place. Uh, y pues, uh, you you walk the the senderos, teacher. Tú puedes okay, caminar. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, the paths. Okay, you walk the path and you eat a typical food. Teacher, uh, thank you. But the second place uh, is Puerta del Diablo. Uh, the Puerta del Diablo is a rock formation made of of two tall border down for windows on the exuberant salvador landscape salvadorian landscape okay salvadorian landscape uh, uh, I was a kid. I 
usually busy the Puerto del Diablo usualmente visit it. Uh, but I not like uh, subir. No me gustaba. I don't like going up. I don't like going up. Uh, and the a la cima. <laughs> to the top. Okay, I don't like going up to the top. I didn't like. Okay, I didn't like. Uh, the third place is Santa Ana. Uh, Santa Ana is the second large city in the country. Um, I deal of the line street and vibrance buildings. Is I measured it well thanks to the coffee industry. If it if feel grand and their driving cultural ism. Uh, drawn to over beautiful. Uh, I like the Santa Ana, the, the church is is it's a good play and the theater teacher. Theater. And the theater. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In your case. Uh okay, pardon. Just one little thing. Theater. Theater. Okay. In American English is theater. In British English is theatry. Okay. Uh, three, ¿cuál, ¿Cómo dijo? En theater, theater. 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 Okay. Theater. Uh, la otro, the other play is Sushitoto City. Uh, the is a colonial city and es conocida teacher it is known it is now uh, for festival food and festival art and and finish tunco beach uh, Tonight side all very popular with backpacker and surfer. Tunco Beach is popular with Salvadorans as well as travel. Okay. And finish this. Perfect. Well done. Thank you, Nilton. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Who's next? Rafael. Mm, no one here. Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. Hello. How are you? How are you? Just fine, just fine. You haven't done your presentation yet, right? Todavía no he hecho su presentación. Yeah, my presentation is... Uh... Uh, Friday, uh, week pass. Oh yeah, last week, last week. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are... let me check. Déjame revisar. I'm sorry. No problem, teacher. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that I was checking. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Root. Hello, Root. Hello, teacher. It appears here that you haven't. Aquí sí en mi lista me parece que aún no. Am I mistaken? Está mal la lista. No, es que es verdad, teacher. Está bien la lista. Ok, please, do it. Ok. Uh, I have... For El Salvador Hills Club. <clears throat> it's, it's project um, of my work. 
It is a project of global family, an organization for the United States. Um, I arrived in El Salvador in 2016, thanks to Alliance with, with the Hope for Family Foundation in San, in San Julian Consulate with two community volunteer, volunteer and a total of 20 years. Uh, the curriculum of the program covers three main, main areas. Uh, physical, mental, and emotional. Applied to the first who are part of site of site program for from a to fifteen years old. Here they learn values and call for life that help them identify the different states of systematic abuse that exist in our culture. Uh, culture. So, culture. Uh -huh. uh, cultural, ¿verdad? Yep. <laughs> Nuestra cultura, ¿eh? Our culture, 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 our In culture. Our culture. So they know, know what, what to do if ever fasting. Uh, forms of abuse are a reality with which we we live every day and that I, I no sé cómo se pronuncia esta palabra <laughs> I hope I'm sorry ¿qué quiere decir? Uh, aunque even though aunque okay. even though it is so evident no, nobody does anything about it. Um, uh, present, uh, we have a, a total of a activity flow in three departments of the country with a total of approximately um, 119 years. And our mission to have close, not, no sé cómo se pronuncia, <laughs> not to win, not to win. I'm sorry. Not, not, uh, en todo el país. In the whole country. In the whole country. Uh -huh. so, nuestra misión es tener clubes en todo el país. En todo el país. En todo el país. Ok. Uh, es esto. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, solo quería mostrarle una foto. Puedo compartir. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a lot uh -huh. of people. Nice, nice. Excellent. Mm, that's great. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Ruth. You're welcome to share. Okay, Thank I you. just did it. No problem, no problem. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Claudia Pineda. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, do Hello. me do me a favor. Hágame un favor. Give me 30 seconds. Tenme solo 30 segundos, please. Okay. I have a little problem with the computer. Tengo un pequeño problemita con okay. algo. Give me 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Ah, finally. Problem solved. Please, Claudia. Uh, I am I was talking about unemployment. Employment. Uh -huh. uh, in our country there are few there are few opportunities. Opportunities. Yeah, opportunities. Opportunities to obtain a formal job for young people. Uh, they they are dif dif they are difficulties. Difficulties in obtaining a job because the companies request experience um, there are a few that give the opportunities to have the first world the first world experience uh, I think in our country when we when when we when we Nosotros tenemos cierta edad, ¿cómo sería? When we have, reach certain age. Certain age. Mm, it's difficult to find a job. And we... And we job the, the companies request steering and the they they don't no dan la no dan primero una oportunidad la primera they don't give an opportunity they don't they don't give an opportunity 
well, in, in my case, I had my brothers. But they had to emigrate to other countries. Could you they had to emigrate to other country mm. in my in my in my job i i knew i knew some years ago a person he say he say he he is 40, 44 years old. En, but, él se quedó sin empleo, ¿cómo sería? Como el, como el mayor. But he, he became unemployed. He became an employer, an employer three years ago. He, he tried to find other job, but, but for for his age, no, no encuentra. ¿Cómo he, sería? he cannot find. He cannot find. And, and actually, the, actually, he, actually, he, he had a business. Él tiene negocio. Okay. He has, he he has, has a, a business. business. He has a business. I uh, and I think for this for this day is difficult. Uh, it's difficult fight to go and uh, only that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank only you. That. That's great. Let's see now, 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 now. Uh, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hello, teacher. I am here. How are you? Ready? Yes. Okay. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Talk to us. Cuéntanos. Okay. My talk. My topic is about about the woman. The what? Woman. Woman. Women. Women. The women in the workplace and their facet as professional as uh, as professional mother. Wife and personal goals. Okay, mm, interesting. Okay. In in our society, 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 being a woman is synonymous with capable people. If we many spectators, however, even is at this time there are trails of great inequality. However much progress has been made on this issue, since women in general have managed to achieve professional success with very important positions, both in private companies and the public positions. I think that our time has come to be able to develop ourselves in different professional areas we have forgetting in that forgetting that our role is often accompanied by maternal and home responsibilities as well as that of wife wives and that is where the sister of a woman is company of many joys joys but with many demands of our nature. I invite all women not give up on any goals, despite the burdens 
and always fight for our personal dreams. I think, teacher, the women in the in the world in our country. Okay, you don't need to say the five, women. Okay, you the women. Say, you just say women. Okay, the women. No. Quíteme el artículo da. No es necesario that. decirlo. Women, sí. solamente women. Okay, women in the world in our country has to fight for every dreams, dreams and goals personal. I think. Okay, well, not in my house. In my house, they rule. No en mi casa aquí mandan. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's not in other house. And, 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 uh, I all, have to see the pressure, problem pressure, every day. Yes. I have to see the problems. I have to see the um process the violence for women in it's very difficult. It's very difficult well uh, because sometimes the women's uh they they not they not think in in herself. Okay, well, thank you. Very interesting topic, Veronica. Now, violence against women. Violence against. Against. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. So last but not least, uh, Walter, your turn, please. Uh, okay, teacher. One minute. Okay, you can see? Yes, San Rafael Cedros. Okay, my topic is San Rafael Cedros. Okay, San Rafael Cedros is located in the department of Cuscatlan. Uh, 15, from San, 50 kilometers from San, San Salvador. If you travel to Iloasco, San Miguel, San Sebastián, San Vicente, by the Pan American Highway, you can visit San Juan Cedros in, and make a stop on your trip. Okay, to get to San Rafael Cedros, if you are coming from San Salvador, you must drive on the Pan American Highway until kilometer 40. Then to left in the tour off, and you arrive to San Rafael Cedros. San Rafael Cedros is famous for its restaurants. Hungry travel will be able to enjoy delicious dishes and different kind of food. Restaurants such as uh, Doña Virginia with seafood delicious dishes. Fried fish and cocktails you can enjoy in Doña Virginia. Um, Salvamex with the Mexican food. Okay. El Arado, where we can eat delicious pupusas. In San Rafael Cedros, you can also pause your trip 
visit the park and enjoy a delicious minuta. Ice or cone, ice cone. Ice, ice cone. cone, yes. Ice cone, sorry. Or have the kids play in the playground. Um, you can visit the church maybe after the earthquake. If the weather is hot, you can visit the palmeras and relax in the swimming pool. And enjoy adults and children sleeping in a hammock. Hammock? Hammock or have a snack or practice swimming. If you feel sick in your trip and you don't have medicine with you, you can visit the health unit and you can continue your trip to your destination. If you plan to travel to the east of the country, uh, at a stop in San Rafael Cedros and enjoy the place. Okay. <laughs> Only that. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Very well done. Excellent, guys. Let's continue. We still got a little something here. Todavía tenemos algo más acá. Okay. Well, I like discussions, you know. A mí me encantan las discusiones. So we are going to discuss a couple of questions I got here. Okay. How much freedom should parents give to their teenagers? Should boys and girls be given the same amount of freedom? Why or why not? Okay, guys, you are going to discuss that in little groups. You're going to have five minutes. Then we're going to come back here and discuss here. Okay, so it's going to be fun. Let's talk about it. It's a very interesting topic. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Hello, Veronica. Teacher and Lolly. No, I am alone. 
<risa> ya hagan lobo. ¿qué? Lo otro es algo tan distinto. I mean, if, if you tell me that you are lonely, it's different. Okay. But there's Rafael here with you, you know? So you are not lonely no more. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I will be crying. Yeah, yeah. Rafael, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, okay. Ver Veronica was complaining. She was alone. <laughs> no, the love, Veronica. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Hello, Rafael. <laughs> Good Hello, evening. How are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y la otra dice, eh, sure boys and girls be given the same freedom. Es que vaya, si nos vamos a la definición, Ay. tiene desactivado el micrófono. Hello, hello, hello. You finish? Estamos no. hablando ahorita sobre libertad, porque es como 
también entra el, en juego la otra palabra que es libertinaje y que muchas oh, veces yeah. la, la... I like the second one. Me encanta el segundo. No. <risa> <risa> Iba a decirle que, o sea, que sí, no, o sea, la... la, la ah, según la definición, dice que está vinculada a la facultad que posee todo ser vivo para llevar a cabo una acción de acuerdo a su propia voluntad, pero también dependiendo de la crianza que se le haya dado, así va a ser como, como lo que estábamos mencionando de, de sus acciones, pues. Entonces, siento que lo primordial sería el diálogo, no tanto como castigo, pero sí como perder privilegio y mientras vivas en mi casa, pues, si querés, vea. Hey, let's see, everybody's coming. Okay, okay, well, everybody comes back. Let's see, I'm gonna ask. Jose Alfredo. Hello, Jose Alfredo. Well, let's see, perhaps no. Carlos Miguel Lumaña. Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. Tell me, how much freedom do you think can be given to teenagers? Um, um, bueno, um, um, bueno, yo considero, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, I think I have a middle point. Um, okay. Ajá, uh -huh, donde no sea, no, no, no exista mucha... Eh, mucha libertad, o sea, mucho, ¿cómo se llama? Libertinaje, ¿verdad? mucho. Ah, okay. no, no llegar al libertinaje, tampoco llegar a, a la ausencia de la, del control, ¿verdad? Les mencioné a los compañeros que, pues, en el caso, pues, eh, el ser humano, pues, siempre anda buscando o quiere hacer siempre aquello que le prohíben. Yeah, Entonces, it's nice. y cuando todo está. Uh, y bueno, en realidad pues lo que es prohibido es lo más llamativo, ¿verdad? Oh. Y cuando en realidad todo está, está así, a la mano, que se puede hacer. Oye, oh, pues, yeah. simplemente pues, no hay, ajá, no existe como la curiosidad de hacerlo. Entonces, como, bueno, mi, pap mi papá decía, ¿verdad? o sea, que cada quien pues es, es libre de hacer lo que quiere, pero él trataba de generar conciencia y saber que estaba creando personas de... Yeah, personas yeah. de so con for, what, y que you're, what you're telling me is that there must be a, a, a middle point, an equilibrium between así es, freedom así and es. what Entonces, should do with that freedom. Y que en realidad, pues, esa de cuestión de, de ¿cómo se llama? De, de, de poder hacer algo, pues, uno lo podía hacer, pero uno tenía que ser consciente que lo que hacía, pues, era algo bueno o era algo malo, ya dependía mucho de uno, y él, pues él confiaba, la situación estaba más en la confianza en el que él tenía, que estaba creando personas conscientes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it.
Okay, guys, give me just a couple of seconds. I need to check on a little something here. Let me solo revisar una pequeña cuestioncita acá. Let's see. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Well, the moment has come for me to call for a finish of the module. Ha llegado el momento que terminamos el módulo. Thank you. Thanks a lot to you guys. You've been a very interesting group. Han sido un grupo muy interesante. Eh, just to remind you what I was telling you the other day, recordarles lo que les mencionaba el otro día, you've got to keep on practicing. I mean, because as the course could be, I don't know if they have given you uh, the, 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 the expected date for the new module. No sé si ya le dieron la, una fecha expectativa, al menos, para el inicio del próximo. No. Okay. No, 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 teacher, no. Okay, but I mean, it's going to be a couple of weeks. Probablemente sea una o dos semanas más. Eh, you need to, to keep on practicing. Remember, practicing is very important. And keep in contact, keep in touch with the language. Manténgase en contacto con el lenguaje. I mean, you need to, if you watch a movie, if you watch a series, put the titles in English. Póngale los títulos en inglés. If you are listening to music, just listen to it. Try to recognize, identify words. Trata de reconocer palabras, identificarlas. Try to mouth them. Trata de vocalizarlas. Even if you don't know the meaning. At this level, you don't care about that. En este nivel, no se preocupen por eso. You need to keep on creating and mouthing those words. Usted necesita crear esos sonidos. Okay. That's what you need to recognize some words, to practice, to do some exercises. Everything helps. Cualquier cosa ayuda. But as you are busy, don't dedicate too much. I mean, don't. it is not necessary for you to sit like one hour formally studying. No es necesario que siente formalmente una hora hacerlo. I mean, if you have the time, perfect. Si tiene el tiempo, perfecto. But uh, as far as I understand, all of you are quite busy. Según entiendo, todos pasamos muy ocupados, ¿no? So, five, ten minutes, daily, steady, constantemente, a diario, cinco, diez minutos. It's going to make wonders for you. Va a ser maravillas con ustedes. Why? Because it's going to help you not to lose too much of what you got. Les va a ayudar a que no pierdan mucho de lo que han obtenido. Because, I mean, it's not that you are going to come back like zero. Más que van a venir a cero. But some, some abilities are going to be a little bit less. Algunas habilidades van a decaer un poco. You need to practice, okay? It's very, very important. Do it, okay? Guys, let me get the final attendance, please. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Presentito. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. 
Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Guys, always a pleasure. Ha sido un completo placer. Eh, any doubt, contact me. Cualquier duda, contacteme. I'll try to keep on sending you something, okay? Voy a tratar de mandarles algunas cosillas ahí que les ayude. Have a good vacation. Take care. Hope to see Thank you soon. Espero verlos pronto. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Muchas gracias por todo, teacher. Muchas gracias. Ha sido un gusto también. Thank you, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Gracias. 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 compañeros. Felices vacaciones. Igual. Bye. 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 vacaciones. Bye. Bye. Disfruten. Disfruten sus familias. Salud. El chapo.
Okay, well, that was the end of it. See you soon.